Good morning, my brothers and sisters. I greet you well this morning. I greet you in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This morning, I recognize the presence of my pastor, his wife, Sister Jasmine Williams, my brothers and sisters who are here. Those who are viewing on Facebook this morning or any other social media platform, I greet you this morning. Welcome to our first divine worship service. We are here in the presence of the Lord to lift him up, to glorify his name, to honor him. God has indeed been faithful to us. He has taken us through another week and we are in his presence to lift him up, to glorify his name. The psalmist David said, I will enter in his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter in his courts with praise. I will say this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. I don't know what your week was this morning, this week. I don't know if it was good or it was bad. But one thing I can assure you, that our God is faithful. Because we are here this morning and we are alive this morning. So I just invite you just to stand with me, hallelujah. And we are just going to use this first minute to recognize the presence of the Holy Spirit with us. And we are just going to give God, hallelujah, yet another praise. Because he has been good. He has been taking care of us. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And this morning, we have more than what to give him thanks for. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We glorify your name, hallelujah. We thank you this morning because you are God. We thank you this morning because you care for us, hallelujah. And we are here in your presence with no other reason but to worship you because you have been good. You have been good, you have been faithful. So I invite those who are viewing us this morning, just take yourself away from the hustle and bustle of the day and let us spend some time Hallelujah, in the presence of the Lord as we come to you with our first divine worship service from the Los New Testament Church of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord. We continue to bless the Lord. We continue to declare that He is holy. We continue to declare that He is the Lord God. He is almighty and he reigns forever. Go ahead and bless your Lord, your Savior, your Redeemer, the strength of your life. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. We bless you, Lord. We honor you, God. We recognize you, oh God, as sovereign. God, we enter into your presence to magnify, to lift you up because you are worthy. You indeed are holy. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. And we rejoice. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We clap our hands, we raise our voice because you alone are worthy and you are holy. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, we bless you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah.
got our minds made up and we are not ever, ever, ever turning back. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Bless the Lord. I've got my mind made up and I will Our minds, our minds, our minds 
are made up, hallelujah, to go with God, hallelujah. Lucy New Testament have a made up mind to go with God for the rest of our life, hallelujah. It doesn't matter what the enemy tries, hallelujah. We are going with God for the rest of our life, hallelujah. I feel like I'm going to just worship God this morning. Hallelujah. I think somebody have a praise for God this morning. I think somebody, hallelujah, just want to show hallelujah this morning. I think somebody want to say hallelujah. Because the trials and the temptation, they know and it seems like you're not going to make it. But we are made up. Jesus, oh God, as a dear pant. 
something for the water. So our souls long after you this morning. God, there is somebody in the house this morning who is longing after you. There is somebody online whose soul is thirsting after you. God, somebody who have tried everything of the world. Somebody who has tried their husband. Somebody who has tried their wife. Oh God, somebody who has tried their children. Somebody who has tried their friends. Somebody who has tried their co-workers. God, perhaps somebody who has tried the older man. And everything has failed. And so this morning, God, we come to you with our hearts open. Our spirits thirsty. And God, we say we we'll, we'll lift our cups to you this morning. Fill our cups, God, and let it overflow. Bread of heaven, will you feed us until we want no more? Bread of heaven, will you fill us, God, until our hearts are satisfied? Jesus, Jesus, above everything else, Lord, we seek a refilling this morning. Above everything else, we seek a refreshing. For in your presence, there is fullness of joy. And at your right hand, God, there are pleasures forevermore. Fill a weary soul. Fill a dying soul. Fill somebody, God, who is weak and weary. Somebody, Lord, who is drawing away from your presence will you pull that soul back to your presence God will you call somebody back to your throne room somebody's fire is going up on the altar God will you let your fire fall again when your name is called again God Lord we put this service before you Lord we ask you Lord that you will come by here this morning Lucy's waiting here by the river will you come Lord Jesus if you don't come to our rescue then Lord will be lost God we have no other hope Lord we have no other friend Lord we have no other king Lord some have Baal oh God some have other gods some call on Buddha some call on Shiva some call on Vishnu but God this morning we call on Yahweh somebody shout Yahweh God we call on Yahweh this morning we call on Jehovah Shire we call, call on Jehovah Shalom we call on Jehovah Shammah somebody shout Jehovah somebody shout Jehovah Lord, we call on you this morning. We ask you to come in our midst. Lord, there are some situations in our midst that needs you this morning. There are some troubles and trials that needs you this morning. Lord, we are hard pressed on every side. We need you this morning. Lord, we are cast down. We need you this morning. Some are depressed. We need you this morning. Some are losing hope. We need you this morning. Some are losing strength. We need you this morning. Some are crying out. We need you this morning. No dinner this evening. We need you this morning. No gas in the car. We need you this morning. No money from work. We need you this morning. Bills to be paid. We need you this morning. Depression on our heels. We need you this morning. Can't sleep at night. We need you this morning. this morning. Lord, we are riding, riding, riding in Prince Emmanuel, riding to Lucy, riding this morning, Jesus, riding and sit on the pulpit, riding and sit in the pew, riding and sit among the choristers, riding and sit among the musicians, riding on the media team, riding on Facebook, riding that apartment, right into that bedroom, right in on the veranda, right into that car, right into that marriage, right into that workplace, right in King Jesus. God, somebody.
somebody needs you. Ride in Jesus like no other can ride in. Ride in and let Jerusalem rejoice. Ride in and let the children worship. Ride in and let we spread our garments that you can ride in. Make a triumphant entrance, Jesus. God, as you ride in, let principalities fall. Let the kingdom of darkness be shaken. As you ride in, Jesus, let the strong man from Malcolmite be bound under your foot. As you ride in, Jesus, let the strong man that lives in Central, let the strong man be bound. For who can we go in and spoil the enemy's goods unless the strong man is bound? God appoint every strong man this morning. Every strong man operating against the children of God. Every strong man operating against godly marriages. Every strong man operating against good health. Every strong man operating against stable finances. Every strong man that dictates that the young people must fall away from Christ. I bind you in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus of Nazareth. The Jesus of Nazareth binds you. We bind you by the power of the Holy Ghost. We declare free access now. Free reign of God. Move in now, Holy Ghost. Bind on the foot. Trump on the foot. Every move of the enemy now. Every move of Satan. We bind you now. In the name of Jesus. Ah, Holy Ghost of God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. God, we take authority now over this atmosphere. We clear it, God, for your glory. We clear it for worship. We clear it for preaching. We clear it for service. We clear it for deliverance. We clear it for breakthrough. We clear it for revival. We clear it for refreshing. Somebody wave your hands in this atmosphere. Wave your bloodstained hands. Wave your sanctified hands. Wave your Holy Ghost hands. Wave your warring hands. God will clear this atmosphere. Freedom in the name of Jesus. Yes, God. Yes, Holy Ghost. God, let your word come forth this morning. Let it come forth from a deep place. Let it come forth with burning. Let it come forth with fire. Oh, God, let your word come forth with power. Let it come forth with authority. Let it come forth with anointing. God, as your word is ministered, let there be healing in the house. As your word is being preached, let somebody walk out of sin as the word is being preached let somebody's marriage come back together as the word is being preached let a young person find strength as the word is being preached God let glory fall let your glory fall let your glory be felt over the earwaves this morning Lord we give you praise we give you thanks Lord we made up our mind <laughs> we will follow you until the day we die. God, for we know that the Christian never die, but we just transition to glory. In Jesus' name, somebody praise God in Lucy. Somebody praise God in the house. Somebody lift up praise. Somebody lift up worship. Somebody praise Daddy God. Why? Somebody praise. He's worthy, he's worthy, he's worthy. Come on, 30 more seconds. He deserves more than this praise. Come on, 30 more seconds. And we praise God of God. Somebody praise Yahweh. Somebody praise Jesus. Somebody lift up the high king. He is king of kings, Lord of lords, conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Continue to lift up the King of all kings, hallelujah. And the Lord of all Lord, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, glory be to God. Hallelujah, that's a word for somebody this morning. I've got my mind made up, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah.
God. Jesus is riding into somebody's situation today. So just hold on a little longer. Hallelujah. 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 I invite you to remain standing with me and turn your Bibles to Psalm 139. Psalms 139. I'll be reading from verse 1 through to verse 18. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. I've got my mind made up. Just speak that word in your spirit this morning. Hallelujah. And take a hold of that word this morning. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Psalms 139. I'll be reading from verse 1 through to verse 18. Hallelujah. O oh Lord, thou hast searched me and known me. Thou knowest my down sitting and my uprising. Thou understandest my thoughts afar off. Thou compassest my path and my lying down and art acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word in my tongue, but lo, O oh Lord, thou knowest it together. Thou hast beset me behind and before, and laid thy hands upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high. I cannot attain unto it. Whether shall I go from thy spirit, or whether shall I flee from thy presence? If I ascend up into heaven, thou art there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, thou art there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost part of the sea, even there shall thy hand lead me, and thy right hand shall hold me. If I say, surely the darkness shall cover me, even night shall be light unto me. Yea, the darkness hideth not from thee, but the night shineth as the day. The darkness and the light are both alike to thee. For thou hast possessed my reign. Thou hast covered me in my mother's womb. I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works, and that my soul knoweth right well. My substance was not hid from thee when I was made in secret and curious the world in the lowest part of the earth. Thine eyes did see my substance, yet being unperfect, and in the book all my members were written, which his countenance was passioned, when as, as yet there was none of them. How precious also are thy thoughts unto me, O God! How great is the sum of them! If I should count them, they are more in numbers than the sun when I awake and I still with thee. This is the word of the Lord. Let us honor it by saying, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, it's now, and ever shall be. Word without end. Amen. I invite you to remain standing and turn with me in your hymnal to hymn 344. My soul is sad as I was
God is our refuge and strength. A very present help in trouble. It says that though the earth be removed, that is the worst disaster that could happen. We live on earth and if the earth is removed, we still know that God is there to be our refuge and our strength. Facebook friends, we welcome you. Everyone in our congregation, some of the faces I've not seen for quite a while. Our college students, Celine, Selena, Marika, you are here, but maybe not in first service. Welcome one and all. Anybody else who we have not seen, we have seen again. Karen, jump, just wave your hand. God bless you, and we are happy to have you. Any other person who we are seeing who was out because of COVID, we are happy to have you. And the Lord continue to bless you as we worship in this service today. Please listen to the notices. Starting tomorrow, June 7, we will begin our three nights of deliverance fasting. You can have breakfast only, but no lunch or dinner before the service. We will accommodate only 50 persons in the sanctuary, but we will also be live on social media platform. So persons you are being asked to register with the office, starting time is 5.30 nightly, and remember it goes on for three nights. Today we'll be observing the Lord's Supper. Those online, you are asked to get a cracker and a juice as you participate in this service. Remember, everything, Jesus is only a prayer away. So it doesn't matter where you are, you can join us today. The New Testament Church of God in Jamaica, the National Youth Department, and the National Tertiary Students Ministry will present National Collegiate Retreat 21 on June 12th. And this will be by Zoom. You can get the additional information like the meeting ID and passcode on the flyers that are posted in, in the WhatsApp group on the different departments. Women's Ministries meeting continues this Tuesday evening beginning at 5.30 and it will be here on the church grounds. By the study this and every, and every Wednesday, that one will be by Zoom and it begins at 7 p.m. On Saturday morning, our prayer meeting continues beginning at 6 o'clock and it is held both in the sanctuary and via the Zoom platform. Here are our prayer requests now and reminders. We are asked to continue praying for our sick members and shutins and also the bereaved. Sister Fernandez, whose husband died, we will continue to pray for her as well. Sister Millicent Grant is very, very ill. Her family is asking that we pray for her. So we need to remember Sister Millicent Grant, who is really ill. Stephen's mom fell and broke her leg. She's in the Cornwall Regional Hospital. We are asked to pray for her and the entire family. Kindly support the different uh, departments uh, and the maintenance and benevolent funds. Brethren, please continue to worship the Lord in spirit and truth. God bless you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let's continue to worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us just keep those notices in mind and just to add to the notice. Um, this, the third Sunday of this month, that's June 20, we will be having our Harvest Thanksgiving service. So the envelopes are being handed out today. I'm going to ask that everyone take an envelope and please make your preparation to be a part of that service and to contribute to it. Thank you very much. At this time, I'm going to invite Councilman Brother Marlon Durham Gordon to come with our worshiping. Hallelujah. Can you stand with me, church, as we do our principle of tithes and offering? Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. 
as customary, we do our declaration. I ask that you raise your tithes and offering in your right hand as we declare. Those online, you can join us as we make this declaration. I decree and declare that I have more than enough. I'm a lender, not a borrower. And I live in the overflow. Come on, let's declare it like you believe it. I decree, decree and declare that I have more than enough. I'm a lender, not a borrower. And I live in the overflow. Let us pray. Almighty God, hallelujah. We give you thanks and we give you praise. Father, you continue to bless us with good gifts. Your word declares that all good gifts come from above. And so, Lord, this morning, out of the abundance and out of the little that we have, we come to give back to you. And so, Lord, we pray that you will accept our gifts this morning. We pray your blessings upon it, God. We pray, Lord, that as you bless it, you multiply it back to us. God, send it. Oh, God, in cash, send it in kind. Send it in houses. Send it in cars. Send it in marriages. Send it in promotion. Send it in good health. Send it in peace of mind. Send it, God, like nobody else can send it. Bless us according to your riches in glory. We give you thanks for it and we give you praise in Jesus' name. And everybody say, Amen. Amen. Follow the direction of the ushers. God bless you. Yes, Lord. We stand in the house and also in your homes. You can stand as we worship the Lord, as we enjoy the presence of the Lord together in giving. Hallelujah. I look down the road and I wonder.
so good to be in the presence of Almighty God. Hallelujah. Nothing can be compared with it. That feeling that to, to en en entertain the presence of God and to actually feel the presence of God. Nothing, nothing can be compared. Hallelujah to it. This morning we have reached a very important part of our worship service. And this is where we'll hear from the man of God declaring what God has put on his heart to tell to us this morning. And I encourage you just to turn your cups up and take from this word, hallelujah, what belongs to you. Sometimes we are praying to God and God will just send a word, hallelujah, to minister into our situation. But before he comes, I'm going to invite our bishop at this time, Bishop Robert Williams, to come. And he will be introducing this morning's speaker. After he does so, the praise team will minister to us in song. My name is Shelly and Samuel Spenico, and I was your moderator this morning. I just encourage you just to continue to worship God this morning. Just worship him. Just worship him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody praise the Lord. Somebody lift up their hands and shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah in the house of God here. Hallelujah. 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 We have a right to worship God this morning in the church. Hello somebody. We have a right to give the Lord thanks and the praise and the glory. Ah, glory, glory, glory. I feel the presence of God in this place. I feel the power of God in this place. Somebody lift your hands again and shout a hallelujah. Somebody shout a hallelujah. Somebody shout a hallelujah. Put your hands above, above the heads and give the Lord in the parking around here. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is in me. Bless his holy name. Indeed, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in the Amen, church. Amen, church. I was glad when the son of me come. Let's go to church. Let's go into the house of the Lord. For in the presence of the Lord, there is fullness of joy. At his right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. At his right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. Amen. Praise God. Today is the sixth day of June. Boy, time is really flying. The sixth day of June. And thank God we can declare again today. Oh, hallelujah. We can shout it from the mountain top. We can honk our hearts and shout it. We can take up our mics and shout it. You can text somebody and declare it. That our God is good. You can write it on Facebook. You can send it across Instagram. You can shout it where you are. Even in the valley, you can shout that our God is good. Do I have a witness in the house here this morning? Is there a witness in the house here this morning? God is good! Somebody with the hands and shout God is good. If you know what you are saying, shout God is good. Ah, shout it if they will hear you shout again, God is good. Somebody shout again, God is good! Put the heart above the head and give the Lord God of the heart in church there. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the Almighty God, hallelujah. Oh, I greet you this morning in Jesus' name, amen. It's good to see every one of you. Last week I couldn't be here because, my God, I was in so much pain and distress. But praise be to God, I am here this morning. And I told the devil, I start preparing for, for church from since the week, you know. I mean, I'm in pain. Sister Williams <laughs> not understanding why. But I am planning on preparing for church. 
because I am coming to church today and I'm preaching second service. Even if I have to let up a bit and preach in Jesus' name. Amen, church. Somebody comes and shout God is good. Somebody shout again, God is good. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We have much to accomplish in a little time, so let me hurry on. And say how good, oh my God, it is so good to see you all this morning. Oh my God, 50. Thank God, we soon come back up to hold, 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 hold a child. But my God, I haven't seen some of you in, uh, come like years. <laughs> it's so good to see you all this morning. God richly bless you, amen. It's good to be in church and welcome to church. Our friends on Facebook, it's good to see you today. Our friends and brethren, good to have every one of you. The Lord which you bless you. It's good to be in the house of the Lord. And we sit to God with the glory. Amen. Amen. And so I want to I want to again join with Sister Jared or PR and say PR. Oh, in saying welcome. Welcome to the New Test to the Lucy New Testament Church of God. The victory center where God resides and his glory abides. Amen, church. Amen, church. Let's say it again. The Lutheran Testament Church of God, the victory center where God resides and His glory abides. Hallelujah! 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 Where God resides and His glory abides. This is victory center. Somebody give the Lord praise. Hallelujah. So always remember to tell anybody who lives in the Testament Church of God, the victory center where God resides and his glory abides. Amen, 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 amen. God bless you. Talk about God's glory and um, victory center and the glory um, abides and God resides. Hallelujah. Recently, we started declaring God, we need some cars and some houses and some husbands and some wives. You don't look at me not yet. <laughs> no, she 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 has to the studies first. So. Yeah, all right. You finished? Oh, you got to tell me you finished. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. But my brothers and sisters, um, uh, I dangle in my hand the keys of a 2021 Honda or Honda CRD. Amen. Hallelujah. Victory Church. Victory Church. Victory Church. Amen, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. And so I'm going to be asking the, the owner of this car to come and stand up here now. Because I, who, whoever has the key has the authority. All right. So since I have the key, I have the authority. But I don't want to keep the authority. So I'm going to ask the owner of this key to come or else I will go into the you know, piece of God's time. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. And all that is in me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Brother and sister, brother, if the boys are here, bring them come and come, sons, come, come, come. This is family church and we have victory alive. Amen. Yes. Bless the Lord. Put the hands up on this family this morning. Uh, to God be the glory. God has blessed this family with this vehicle and I want to say congratulations to you all. Uh, we, we, we feel the presence of God and we are happy for you. Brother Brian, how are you doing? It's good to see you, man. Yeah, good to see you, good to see you. Preacher. Yes, I I I I I am a bit last week and heard you preaching and what you preaching. You did a very good job. I'm proud of you, sir. You said, "Well, I'm a preacher, but I'm not a preacher." Yeah, preacher, sir. 
brothers and sisters, I'm going to invite you to stand up there. I need to go quickly because I want to give a preach on time. I've gone, already gone into stand, and then we have to do lots of it before we leave. But I really want to thank God. Switch your hands towards them, understand? Father, we give you thanks and the praise and the glory. We exalt your holy name. We declare your lordship over our lives. You are our King eternal. And God, we glorify you. We thank you for who you are. Lord, I lift you my, my hands now with these keys. God, these are the keys to a, a 2021 Honda CRV that you have blessed your, your people with. Oh God, brother and sister Brian and their sons. God, you have blessed them. And so now, God, before we do anything else, we dedicate this vehicle now to you in the name of Jesus. We pray, oh God, the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah will not be sprinkled on this vehicle. We cover it from top to bottom, from front to back, from inside to outside in the name of Jesus. Father, we touch the engine, we touch God in transmission and all other mechanical parts, front end and the back end. Hallelujah, we plead the blood of the electrical part and the computerization part. God, we plead the blood of Jesus on this entire vehicle. And God, we declare now that this vehicle will give you praise and the glory. We come against any plan from hell that may want to come against them in the name of Jesus. We cover them. God, we pray that their blessing will be upon this family. And God, the angels of God will hover around them. And Lord, when the enemy sees them, oh God, the enemy will know that these are the people of God. The enemy will know that this vehicle belongs to God. Bless the boys. God, cover them. Help them, God, to grow up to be young men of God. Young men who will honor Almighty God. Bless Mr. Brian at work. Bless him on the, on the road. Bless him wherever he is. Cover him, God. Cover Sister Brian at work. Cover her on the road. Cover her wherever they go. Lord, I plead the blood of Jesus again upon their, their home. Oh, God, we are not here now, but Lord, I plead the blood of Jesus on the front door, the back door. Hallelujah. Every other door, I plead the blood of Jesus on every window in the name of Jesus. This house is covered and the place. This yard is protected by the Holy Ghost. We trust you, Father, for some trust in chariots and some in horses. But we choose to remember the name of Jehovah. Hallelujah. Cover your people now, we pray. And we thank you for your blessings upon them. And we give you all the honor, glory, and the praise of the people of God. Say amen. amen. Somebody lift your hands and say amen. amen. One more time, declare amen. amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord bless you, sir. Once again, congratulations and God bless. Enjoy, enjoy. Somebody praise God in the house. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. And we're expecting many, many more victories. Amen? Yes, and those of you by Facebook, yes, share your victory with us. As we pray with you and as we as we see God on, on your behalf, share with us the victory testimony. Let us give God honor, glory, and the praise. For this is victory center indeed. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. Uh, as you know, tomorrow evening begins our three evenings of deliverance fasting. And as you were told, you know, you have breakfast, but no lunch, no dinner until you get back home. Hallelujah from church. Amen. We come believing God. We come seeking God. Um, asking you to take along. Uh, tomorrow we'll be having uh, a, a, a table here where you'll be asked to take along whether your documents or uh, whatever, or whatever, whatever, for us to be, for us to be praying over. We have the, 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 the table right here. You just want to put those things because we're believing God in the name of Jesus. Amen, church. Amen, church. Amen, church. Hallelujah. Jesus turned to disciples at one time when they were trying to cast out a demon out of, out of a little boy and they couldn't get through. Jesus came and cast him out. They, they, they came to Jesus and said, Jesus, what happened? How come? Jesus said, this kind went not up by prayer and fasting. There are some kinds in our lives 
that need prayer and fasting. You come tomorrow in the name of Jesus. Whether it's a document, your key, whatever. You, 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 you come, maybe, maybe a piece of garment for an unsaved. Somebody you need deliverance. So don't worry. Just sit up nice and put it on the table. We're going to be praying in the name of Jesus tomorrow. Amen, church. Amen, church. Amen, church. Amen, church. Hallelujah. Where are we? Where are we? Victory Center. Hallelujah. Where God resides. His glory abides. Somebody give God a praise in church. I feel the presence of God in this place. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout another hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. I need to get out of the way. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Coming to share the word of the Lord with our hearts this morning is Brother Plummer, one of the young men of God who I've have, have, have met and, and come into Lucy. And oh my God, uh, uh, God has blessed with some strong battalion young men, you know. Brother Plummer is, is, is among them. And I'm happy to have him this morning. He's not the first time I'm going to preach. Uh, the Lord used him um, mightily, mightily two Sundays ago. And he'll be preaching to us this morning. We share with us the word of the Lord. Before he comes, however, I know the praise team, they're going to be blessing our hearts. Just so, as soon as they're through, the very next voice we'll hear will be the voice of Officer Ryan Plummer as he comes to declare Jesus to our hearts. Amen. God bless you. Brother Plummer. Sorry. Praise you. Bless the Lord. My Jesus, my Savior, Lord, there is none like you. All of my days, I want to praise the wonders of your mind.
Can somebody bless the Lord? Can somebody magnify the name of the Lord? Hallelujah. God is indeed worthy to be praised, worthy to be worshipped, uh, adored, and to be lifted up. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let me greet the Holy Spirit, uh, who is always evident among us. Let me greet our Bishop and First Lady. Uh, let me greet our student pastors, Sibright uh, and Anderson, and also our district uh, men's coordinator, Brother Father. Let me greet all the council members who are here this morning and also those who are worshiping with us in-house and those on Facebook. Uh, God bless you and a happy greetings and holy greetings to you. Hallelujah. Uh, time has gone so much, but we still have much to give God thanks for. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In God's presence, there is fullness of joy, and at His right hand, Unseen. It doesn't matter if you believe that matter exists in solid, liquid, or gas. The point is, they do. When we look in the sky, all we see sometimes is just a blue sky, and sometimes we see clouds. 
However, there is something called the atmosphere. There is also something called an ozone layer uh, that helps to protect us from the sun's ultraviolet rays. As it is with the natural, it is the same way uh, with the spiritual. In Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10, uh, the Bible gives us a head up, uh, showing us that we must cover ourselves, we must guard uh, ourselves. He says, final my virgin, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. He said that we shall put on the whole armor of God that he may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against rulers of darkness, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, uh, God has given Jesus that authority, and God has exalted Jesus above every other name. He has exalted him far above powers, far above principalities, far above everything that we can think, ask, or imagine. Can somebody bless the Lord? Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, scientists are still baffled at how the bones of a baby grow inside uh, the mother's womb. Uh, they are also amazed at how a baby is protected in an ammoniatic sack until uh, delivery is imminent. Even if man try to understand what's happening there, he still can't understand. My brothers and sisters, although we may not understand how God protects us, we still must give him thanks for his protection. Amen. Hallelujah. So the first one that I want to share with us quickly is that God's protection is unlimited. In other words, God's protection is omnipotent. Uh, in Jamaica, we have several insurance companies. Some offer coverages for car, boat houses. Uh, we have health and we have life insurance. Some of us, our health cars, uh, some are international. But whenever it um, comes to the international one, it comes with a cost. My brothers and sisters, God's coverage, whether uh, you are here or whether you are overseas, uh, it doesn't come with an additional cost. Can somebody bless the Lord? Yes, Hallelujah. It is true that while life lasts, that some people will not get any form of coverage for their assets. Uh, truth is just the same way when a person dies without having uh, that insurance coverage uh, when that person dies without having God's presence, uh, that person will be lost. Oh God. Uh, some people may, will refuse to accept Christ. Uh, their reaction or their statement will be that there is no life after death. Oh God. But I'm saying to somebody today that if you get that coverage today, that coverage will carry you even after death. Yes. Hallelujah. It is said by those who are not insured that when me dead, me dead, somebody will bury me. It is also said by those who refuse salvation that there is no reason for giving up this good life for something that I don't know about. Uh, God. When you choose uh, the life insurance package that Jesus uh, has to offer, it offers so many things. But let's look at the physical life insurance package. Uh, it offers uh, coverage for critical illness. It offers uh, coverage uh, for Sunday. It offers coverage for loss of limb, loss of sight and much more. At a price that some can afford and some can't afford. But let us go on to the package that Jesus Christ offers. Ah, strength is available. Healing is available. Oh God. You can find courage. Ah, the Holy Spirit is available. A blessing is available. Righteousness and holiness is available. Peace is available. Joy is available. Long life is available. Sustenance is available. Oh God. All that you need is available on that coverage. Hallelujah. 
God, the word of God has come to us in Isaiah chapter 55, 1 to 3. It says, Ho, everyone that thirsts, come ye to the waters, and he that hath no money, come ye and buy, and eat. Ye come buy wine and milk without money. You don't have no excuse, and without price. Wherefore do you spend money for that which is not bread? Wherefore why you spend money to cover yourself on this earth that that insurance coverage can't usher you into the kingdom of God? God. He says, incline your ears and come unto me. Here are your soul shall live. And I will make an everlasting covenant with you, even the sure mercies of David. My brothers and sisters, David versus Goliath. Cause first Samuel chapter 17. We see in verse 38 where Saul armed David with his armor. In verse 39, we see where David said unto Saul, I cannot go with these because I have not proven these. Oh God, David was saying that I have somebody, I have an invisible courage. God, hallelujah, can somebody bless the Lord? David had no time to be struggling with man-made armor when the invisible presence of God was at his disposal. David said, then took them off. In verse 47 of 1 Samuel chapter 17, David allowed his followers to understand that the Lord save it not with the sword or the spear. For the battle is the Lord and he will give it into our hands. I remember saying to Brother God, that look at David who should have uh, God been covered by, by, by metal armor. Uh, going up against a big Goliath. <laughs> but David was saying that in God's presence, uh, there is no need to fear. In God's presence, uh, I have coverage. Uh, oh God, in God's presence, uh, I can kill the Goliath. Uh, in God's presence, uh, I can trample on some mountain. Come. Come, covered by an invisible presence. <laughs> so while David was there, David took the time out to notice Goliath. That even though Goliath believed that he was covered uh, from head to toe, Bishop, there was something else exposed. God. Oh God, I, I want to say to somebody who is trying to mess around a child of God, that that child of God is covered uh, by an invisible presence. You can't see it. Uh, you can't touch it. Uh, you can't feel it. Uh, but that invisible presence is in there. Wow, God, God, God. I pause to tell somebody that you can girl up. <laughs> Your lives, you can make it with this invisible presence. Ha. You don't need no harsh shoe to get that invisible presence. Ha. You, can, you don't have to gear up. God, uh, for those of us who, who hear this song, gear up, me gear up. Ha. Uh, God, I'm going to gear up. I want this the invisible presence. Ha. Because even though we have all the gear up, God, ha. but man still a go kill him. God. You don't have to put up any inch measure. Good God. Ha. You don't have to spray any all that more. Go away, evil. Ha. Lord God. Ha. Because I am covered ha, by that invisible presence. So here what David says in Psalm, oh God, chapter 27. The Lord is my light and my Jesus, my salvation. Whom shall I fear when bad man come up? I'm covered under that presence. Uh, when knife man come up, I'm covered under that presence. Good God, time is running. But brother God, I remember going to the market in Charles God, the market in Mantua Bay. And two young men saw my bishop and they said, um, come here. But I didn't take it for anything. And one of them said to me that, <laughs> Ah, uh, you killed my brother. I said, I don't know where to talk about. And one of them said to me that, we oh, want to kill him. <laughs> but we can't do it now. Lord God. <laughs> I want to tell somebody that, Lord God, stay under the coverage. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> well, David went out to say, the Lord is the strength <laughs> of my life. <laughs> of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked even my enemies and my fools 
scared to eat out my flesh. Oh God. They stumble. Good God. Oh God. I don't know about you, but let me share my testimony. When I was going to stay, so I'm bad boy, I come all and know. Good God. And when it came to fight, Bishop made me mother, because my dad says me mother. They put a little bit away, but I'm well mother. Oh God, I'm a missing bully, they come. There was something inside of me said, don't, don't move, just stand up. Good God, when I stood up, I, I, I just stood up and I just made one move forward. God, it's spread out in our pool of dirty water. My oh God, my oh God, we must stay in the presence. Sometimes you want to come out of the presence, got experience with outside look like. But I'm telling somebody this morning, stay under that presence. God. He said, the one who was encamped against me, my heart, oh God, shall not fear. Do a war shall rise against me. Oh God, I borrow something from him, Dante. In this, will I be confident? Tell your neighbor, I am confident. God, no food on the table, but I'm confident. Lord God, exam coming, but I'm confident. Oh God, in your social life, you are confident. In your marriage, you are confident. And when you take it up, look behind in your prayer life. You are confident. Because you are covered by an invisible presence. Oh God, what Baba David said, for in the time, of trouble. Lord God, he shall hide me in his secret pavilion. Lord God, in the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. Lord God, and for some of you who know peace, so when God hide you off a while, he go, 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 go put you upon a rock. He said he shall place me upon a rock. Lord God, tell the neighbor, it's time to come out of hiding. There's a coverage that is there. It's time to come out. Oh, God, God, can somebody bless the Lord? Can somebody magnify the name of the Lord? Hallelujah, hallelujah. So in Exodus chapter 33, uh, God, after Moses experienced uh, that, 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 that power of Almighty God, Moses says, you are, God, we know how your presence is. And if you now come with me, don't I hate you. Oh God, uh, in case somebody don't believe me. He says in verse 14, and he says, My presence shall go with thee, and I will give thee rest. And he said unto him, If thy presence go not with me, carry, not, carry us not of hence, because we cannot go without God's presence. Oh God, you have some persons believe that it is their presence. <laughs> no, it's not your presence, it is God's presence. So let me jump quickly to point two. The invisible presence covers us in an unusual way, which means that it is omnipresent. Good God. So the children of Israel experienced God's unusual presence in many ways. He guided them by a pillar of cloud. In a day. He guided them by a pillar of fire by night. He allowed them to stand still while he fought for them. He rained down manna and uh, for, for them to eat. He destroyed the crops and animals of the Egyptians where none of their things were damaged. He led them through the Red Sea with a mighty hand. He allowed Moses to sit and two men to hold up his hand to Israel uh, that Israel could prevail over their enemies. My brothers and sisters, you can't see that presence. <laughs> God, you almost see one, two, man, two men holding up a man's hand. I saw they have manager up there because there is an invisible presence. Oh God. Today, you and I can experience that unusual courage in an unusual way. Sometimes, the way your enemies are expecting God to cover you, He does it in a different way. When God is going, was going to kill the firstborn of Egypt, He told them to kill a man. A huge bunch of hyssop and dip it in the blood. That is in the base and strike a little uh, of the house. And this, my brothers and sisters, was coverage for them. There was nothing in the blood. But there was an invisible coverage. 
Oh God, as I pondered at this verse, when Noah was told to build an ark, the people would have laughed because they would have never seen rain. God. But God has a plan for Noah. God says, Noah, I'm going to tell you some instruction. Get seven clean things and those who don't clean or carry them by two or whatever it is into the ark. I am going to rain on the earth. And they went in. But look at something, Bishop, every time I think about it. No one didn't have the key for the door of the ark. For God. Oh God. He says the Lord shut him in, brother God. Which means that no one no had no access to any key to let in anybody. Good God. Sometimes God is going to shut some people out of your life. God is going to shut some windows. God is going to shut some doors. But the part that amazed me, for 40 days and 40 nights, <laughs> no one was going about in the ark, to and fro, inside an ark. That was under divine coverage uh, from God. <laughs> there was no horse engine, brother God. How much horsepower? No, 200 horsepower to propel that ark. Good God, brother God. Ah, but there was an invisible present. There was an invisible coverage of oh, God. No, I didn't have any paddle to paddle his arm. But there was an invisible coverage. And no, was still in the 40 days. And 40 nights had it really. And the good Lord covered him. Hallelujah. That is indeed coverage. No need to fear. God, because coverage is here. Oh God, uh, if you look at that advertisement, say like a good neighbor. Jesus, State Farm is here. Oh God, but if you want to take out State Farm, you can say like a good neighbor. Jesus is here. Oh God, like a good neighbor. Coverage is here. Oh God, as I especially mentioned. God not deal with third party. Good Lord. It's either you're covered or you're not covered. No third party over here. <laughs> it is comprehensive. Oh God. So in verse uh, 1 to 6 of Psalm 139, it says, Oh Lord, thou hast searched me and has known me. God, you know my down sitting and my uprising. Don't understand that my thought are far off. Don't come past my path and my land down. And are acquainted with all my ways. For though there is not a word in my tongue, but all are thou knowest it all together. It says in verse 5, Thou hast beset me behind and before. What is this saying to us? That coverage is in front of you. Coverage is behind you. Oh God, even though you never mention it, that it is beside you. Coverage is also beside you. Coverage is uh, around you. Coverage is beneath you. Oh God. Oh God. So, and, and I try, some people are trying. Oh <laughs> God. They try the front door and it don't work. Oh God. They try stabbing and it back and it don't work. Oh God. And then they try to get beside you. But they can't work because there is coverage. Tell anybody that tell somebody that I need the coverage. He says, David said, such thing or such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high. I cannot attain unto it. Oh God. So let's get to verse 7. He says, Whither shall I go? from that spirit or whither shall I flee from thy presence hallelujah oh God it says God is our refuge a very present help in time of trouble oh God what we don't understand that the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof because he has established it of all the seas and establish it up upon the floor. So there is no way 
that we can get away from that presence. So the third point that I want to share with us quickly is that God's presence is the ultimate resource for the believer. Which means that he is omniscient. So the word ultimate means the best achievable or imaginable of its time. The believer cannot get a better coverage than this. Ah, oh God, let me tell somebody that this coverage is bigger, better than Mr. Digison. Good God. Oh God. This coverage is bigger, better than at and This coverage is the best coverage that you can ever get. So nobody cannot escape this coverage. You know, as I look at the sun, I wake up and see the sun, and I say, God, the sun is only allowed, well, the, the, the S-U-N is only allowed to cover a certain portion of the earth. Oh, God. <laughs> because it offered coverage. But even though it offered coverage, some place have day and some place have night. Ah, but it's actually the S-O-N. Oh, God, I first coverage. Ah, oh, in London. Oh, God. In Turkey. In Pakistan. Oh, God. In Israel. In Italy. Oh, God. Anywhere you take it, it offers up. Hallelujah. Oh, God. So when, when, when we look at... God, as I look at Adam, I'm say, Adam, I feel fully. And, and, and when we look at Adam, we can say that, and we can say that about ourselves. Sometimes we get messed up and we want to try to hide. But the psalmist is saying, wither. Oh God, if I flee, oh God, if I ascend up into heaven, now pray the man and enter the bishop. Ah, but David was seen in the future. If I am 38,000 feet up there, uh, you can't hide. If you take the rock, you better go down and see the God over Mars. Oh God. And if you decide you don't want that Mars, you want that moon. His presence is still there. So David was doing a futuristic uh, text. He was looking into the future. And David was saying that it doesn't matter if you go up. God, his presence is there. God, because guess what? The earth uh, is the Lord, Lord God, and the fullness thereof. Hallelujah. So look at this. The psalm was saying, Brother Dante, I cannot remove myself from the realm of God transcendent. Uh, neither could he run from God's eminent and personal engagement with him. So in Hebrews chapter 4 verse 13 it says, Neither is there any creature that is not manifest in his sight. But all things are naked and open unto the eyes of him whom we have to do. For those of us who have up on glass but on boat, we don't get that privilege yet still. Uh, but, 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 but the little privilege that I have at the command, I have something that they call them goggles. Uh, we don't want to look at pipe by side, that's it here. But with a naked eye, when I go in the water, I cannot see anything. Uh, but when I put on that goggles, I am able to see clearly. Uh, you can see the little fish swimming by. If you drop your ring down in the sun, you can't see it. Because you're seeing something. This is a man-made tool. Oh God. We are talking about a supernatural God who everything is naked before him. Oh God. Uh, it is because of sin why man have to come up. Because when you are naked, yes or no, it doesn't matter to God. Because it is his creation vision. Let me hurry on. Oh God. So question two, if, if I ascend to heaven, the one deal. If I made my bed in hell, <laughs> behold, the one dear, the right to acknowledge God's ability to access hell because he is sovereign. 
Oh God, and, and, and this is not in my notes, but I want to say that I acknowledge God and Jesus. Because Adam and Eve, oh God, I want to keep my life. Give away, oh God, the keys. But Jesus Christ came and he said to Peter, oh God, this is I, Jesus Christ. God, the forefathers, give away the key. But I am he that was dead, oh God. And I am alive and well known. And I have some keys. Good God. Jesus. And whatever you find, oh God. Keep on. God, and whatever you lose on earth, it is loose in heaven. Oh God, you know, sometimes you go to the hotel. Oh God, you believe that you lock up your valuables in there, but they have a master key. Good God, Jesus Christ has a master key. Oh God, and whatever that master key, oh God, is connected to your little key. Good God, when you, when you touch. God, glory, 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 glory. Good God, you might not have a key in your hand, but whatever you have, just lift it up to God this morning. God, we are giving some access. Ah, some of you are going to go to some workplaces. Some people never believe say you're going to work there. Yeah. 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 Jesus, access. Ah, oh God, because he has given you the key. Hear what Job says in Job 26 verse 6. He says, hell is naked before him. And destruction has no covering. Good God, so everything is good. Amos 9, verses 2 to 4. He says, Though they dig into hell, then shall my hand take them. Though they climb up to heaven, then shall I bring them down. And though they hide themselves in the top of Carmel, I will search and take them out thence. And though they be hid from the light in the bottom of the sea, then shall I command the serpent, and he shall bite them. And do they go into captivity before their enemies? Then it's like, come on, the sword, and it shall slay them. And I will set my eyes upon them for evil and not for good. Oh God. What is this saying to us? That if you're not under God's coverage, <laughs> oh God, you don't have no protection. So if you believe that you're God, no God, I, I'm going to say this publicly. If man believes that he's going to leave earth and go to Mars to escape God, he make a sad mistake. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> oh God. So in verse 9 of the text of Psalm 139, it says, If I take the wings of the morning, oh God, and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, I'm talking about the Christian now, I'm not talking about the unsaved. Oh God. <laughs> and that is dropping my spirit. <laughs> Jonah was on the boat, Sister Shelley. Jonah, no one, I don't need to go preach. Oh, my God. Jonah decided to hear one. Show me my boat. But God prepared a great fish. So this passage could have come back. And it was saying that if I take the wings of the morning, if I follow the ocean current, Bishop, and decide that I'm going to let the ocean current uh, drift me, drift me, drift me, drift me. <laughs> Until I end up over to somewhere else. And, and as it's come, let me just say, because I'm almost true. If you notice the Haitians, they wait on a particular current in order to reach where they want to go. And when they come out and they look a piece of boat or look at nature or something, that current will carry them where they want to go. So the Bible is saying that even if you take this current, <laughs> God, and, and you're planning that this current will carry you over there. Ah, let me just say it for those Christians who believe that, yes, I will go to Kingston and nobody don't know me. <laughs> I will go to Broad Street and nobody will know me. I will go to Pennsylvania and nobody will know me. God, the coverage is still here. God. So he said that if I take the wings of the morning and do it in the atmosphere pass of the sea, even there, I don't know how Jonah do it. But the Bible says Jonah prayed from the belly of the wheel. 
or from the belly of the fish rather. And God heard him. And God caused the big fish <laughs> to spit him up and dry him. Because there is coverage. Oh God. That was Jonah's submarine for three. <laughs> God, you see how God is awesome. God used a great fish to make man know that he can be a submarine. What a God. What is God? A powerful God. Oh God, he says, even there shall thy hand lead me. And thy right hand shall hold me. Look at this part. He says, if I say, surely, the darkness shall cover me. Even the night shall be light about me. Yea, the darkness hide it not from thee. But the night shineth as thee. The darkness and the light are both alike unto thee. This part puzzles me. But I leave it. <laughs> because he is God all by himself. And as I question God in closing, I ask myself, God, why are you so concerned about man? You have made him a little lower than the angels. And you have covered him with Ah, there's a glory, there's a glory, there's a glory. Oh God. <laughs> Satan went to God and says, if you move that little glory, that little edge from around Job, he will curse you. God. There is a glory around the believer, there is a coverage. Unless I forget. Aaron couldn't die until that. Oh God. Until that priestly garment was taken from him, Bishop. Because that priestly government recognized, uh, symbolized rather, coverage. So in our going out and in our coming in, there is coverage. When Adam tried to hide from God, uh, he couldn't do it. So in Genesis chapter 3 and verse 21, unto Adam also unto his wife, did the Lord God make coats of skin, coats of skin, and clothing. Everything else, as I pondered on this, God said, let there be and there was. But when it comes on to us, Sister Shelley, God says, let us make man in our own image. After our likeness. So what God was saying that I have created you after my own likeness and after my own image. You have some attributes of me. And because you have some attributes of me, I cannot just allow you just to go anywhere you want to go. I have to come with you. And the question is, does God love me the way I am? And the answer is yes. So let me close with verse 30 to 18. It says, For thou hast possessed my ways. Thou hast covered me in my mother's womb. I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works, and my soul know it right well. My substance was not hid from thee when I was made in secret, and curiously wrought in the lowest parts of the earth. Thy eyes did see my substance, yet be not perfect. And in the book all my members were written, which in countenance were fashioned, when as yet there was none of them. How precious also are thy thoughts towards me, O God. How great is the sum of them. If I should count them, they are more number than the sun. When I awake, I am still with thee. There is courage. My brothers and sisters, if you don't have that coverage today, you can't get that coverage. So I conclude by saying God's presence is unlimited, which is omnipotent. Uh, God's presence is omnipresent. God's presence is the ultimate present for the believer, which means he is omniscient. Hallelujah. So if you think that you can run from God, just remember that I will tell you today that there is no way that you can go. 
There is no where where you can hide. There is no where that you can go that he cannot reach you. Hallelujah. 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 God has praised you to do this source. Fill me, O oh God. You provide the fire. Hallelujah. We are going into uh, three nights of prayer and fasting. But unless God's coverage is with us, then we will be able to conquer uh, the demons, the devils. We will be able to conquer the land. But we know that once God's presence is there, all things are possible. Hallelujah. 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 
Father, in the name of Jesus, we give you thanks. This is the sixth day of June. Oh God. So many people have tried different coverage. Ah, but they have not worked. But today you're offering that coverage that can work and will work. Ah, God, you don't have to slay the lamb anymore. Ah, you don't have to place the blood on the door anymore. Oh, God, you don't have to kill any turtle dove. Ah, you don't have to kill any lamb. But God says there is coverage. Coverage for your parents. Coverage for your household. Coverage for your car. Coverage for your lifestyle. Oh God. Coverage at the workplace. That invisible coverage will cover you. And Father God, that your children prepare to leave. I ask, oh God, that your coverage will be upon them. God, I pray, oh God, that you have blessed them going out and coming in. And God, we want to thank you for that eternal coverage. As we give you thanks and praise. God, remember our bishop. Cover him on the head, Lord. Oh God, right into that house, even now. God, move through the bathroom. Move through the kitchen. God, move through the bedroom. God, both houses. Ah, God, sweep over the roof. Sweep over the barrier. Sweep around the side of the house. Sweep around the front of the house. And we say coverage, 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 coverage. In the name of Jesus. God, I pray right now that you'll visit Amari. That your presence will go before you. God, that your coverage will be upon him. Touch his belly. Ah, God, touch his stomach. Touch his mouth. Ah, God, touch his back. In the name of Jesus, we declare healing because your presence is able to penetrate those walls. In the name of Jesus, God, we give you thanks and praise. Heal that house and all. In Jesus' name, God bless you.
6 p.m. I invite you to stand in the presence of the Lord. My Facebook friends, we are happy that you could have worshipped with us today. I pray that the presence of God, hallelujah, will be with you and that you will remain under the comprehensive coverage of Almighty God today. Hallelujah. Join us at 11 for our second divine worship service and may God continue to bless you. All right, we are going to come off. Oh, we are not coming off here. Well, we are going to move right into our Lord's Supper. And at this time, I'm going to call on Bishop Robert Williams to come to us. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Somebody worship the Lord here. Let me be seated for a moment. Hallelujah. What a word from the Lord God Almighty this morning. Amen. Yes, put a hand in for the Lord. Put a hand in for the Lord. Comprehensively cover Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank God for his service this morning. Father, touch your son. Ryan Plummer today. Oh, Heavenly Father, thank you for you for using him. Thank you, God, for speaking through him to us today. We give you honor, glory, and praise in Jesus' holy and wonderful name. Amen, amen, and amen. Praise the Lord. It's time to go because we need to prepare for the next service. But we want to move into Lord's Supper this time. And those of you um, at home by Facebook, yes, we ask you to join with us now as get ready to uh, worship the Lord and share in Lord's Supper. As we um, approach the Lord's still over this morning, Lord's Supper, we do so remembering the, the death and the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. He died so that we can experience salvation. He died so that we can experience deliverance. He died so that we can experience reconnection with Him. Hallelujah. We can uh, reconnect with glory. And as Jesus uh, told his disciples, I will not have this meal with you again until we meet in glory. Amen. And so we, 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 we celebrate the Lord's Supper. Praise God as we, as we give the Lord the thanks and the praise for his goodness to us. I ask you at this time, wherever you are, uh, to just lift up that emblem you'll be using. Those of you by way of Facebook, whatever emblem you'll be using for Lord's Supper. Hallelujah. No, I now ask you to lift it up with me as we ask God's blessings upon those emblems. Amen. Uh, you may have maybe some crackers, maybe a little piece of bread, maybe some juice, maybe some water, whatever it is you have. We're using it this morning. Amen. Representing the, blood, the, the, the blood and the body of Jesus Christ. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. I'm giving somebody... Uh, another moment to go and get that little that get that emblem you might not have got little time giving you a little moment to get that emblem as you share with us this morning hallelujah in Lord's Supper praise God praise God and whatever it is that's whatever situation hallelujah you want God to intervene in let us let us know that he's right here with us Hallelujah. Right here with us. Praise God. It's prayer time. No, it's prayer time. Let us pray as we lift up the emblem before the Lord. Father, in the mighty, mighty name of Jesus, we thank you for your goodness to us. We thank you, Lord, that you sent Jesus to die. And in his dying, Lord, we live in him being bruised and broken. Hallelujah. We are healed and we are made whole. Hallelujah. We Thank you now, Father. The emblems of your people are about to pass. Take off. Oh God, representing your body and your blood. The body which was broken for us. The blood which was shed for us. I pray now, God, in the mighty name of Jesus, that will sanctify these emblems. Breathe upon them now, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Let your name be glorified so that as your people partake, oh God, they will experience the goodness of God in your lives today. Healing, deliverance, victory, answer to prayers. Hallelujah. Sunshine will come back in your lives. The light of God, hallelujah, will shine where there is darkness and the glory of God will take over your people. Thank you, Lord Father. 
In Jesus' holy and wonderful name and the people of God said amen. amen. The people of God said amen. amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm going to ask you to come quickly. Maintain your, your distance. And uh, yes, come on. Uh, collect the emblems quickly as we, and then together we will. Uh, so, so sister, sister Cunningham will direct you. You may go ahead, sister Cunningham. His blood is on my soul. His blood is on my soul. I rest securely in His heart. His blood is. Oh, my soul. Oh. 